in biochemistry so we kind of know what we're talking about I mean we have a few tips here and there so <laughs> they'll definitely help you if you start using them right away also if you enjoy this series on our study Sunday kind of thing definitely let us know what subject you want to see next would it be math geography science English I mean anything yeah, just like just call comment it, call it. <laughs> yeah just comment down below we want to see which subject is the most popular and which one you want the most tips in okay yeah so with that being said let's get straight into this video <laughs> the first thing whenever you hear the word biology is drawings. You need to keep practicing your drawings and it's really important to make them appealing. So in our last video which will be linked in on the screen we talked about why we like using computer pages instead of lined notebooks to draw our diagrams on. You don't have to color your drawings but it all depends on you. If you want you can invest in a sketch pad and keep redrawing and practicing every single biology diagram you come across. Teachers are really impressed when you are able to answer questions and provide drawings to supplement your work and it can definitely help you get a few extra marks and who wouldn't want that <laughs> so the next tip is to watch animations and this helps you to understand more one site that we love for biological topics is McGraw Hill which will be linked below sometimes when you read things in a textbook or even draw diagrams you still don't understand it you can draw how much you want or read how much you want but sometimes that's just not enough so we like to head over to the good old internet and search for animations that actually show you what's going on when you see animations everything becomes a hundred times clearer because you can actually see the process in action. There's an animation to practically everything on the internet so all you have to do is take the extra few minutes to find it, look at it and understand it. Tip number three is to do your lab work and get a hands-on approach to the topic. Sometimes you don't want to go to a five-hour lab. Trust me, we have both been there but you just have to make the best of being in a lab. Having to do hands-on experiments like dissections or microscope work can really help you get a deeper understanding of the topic. And trust me, you'll be so surprised because in your exam when you're stuck, that very lab exercise can trigger your memory and help you remember exactly what you learned. The next tip is a concept map because this helps you to organize information clearly. You can use Microsoft Paint or you can simply just draw your concept map. We decided to show you it in a paint program so it can be clearer. Start off with a main focus in the center of your diagram. In this case, it's the liver and the liver has different functions. So what you do is draw lines from the center to represent each function. Then all you do is fill those points out like this. Once that is done, you can print this out and add additional notes to it while you're studying. Concept maps like these are very useful for biology because you have a range of organs, systems, animals and just so many processes and these can get so confusing. Concept maps are a great way to focus on one topic and it's so much easier to see the information in a map format than in a bulky wordy paragraph. So the last technique for acing bio is to use a comparison table because you can clearly see the similarities and differences between two or more topics. So for example, if you had to compare Justin Bieber and Zayn Malik in the first table, we will have characteristics common to both of them. So things like date of birth, hair color, eye color and country of birth. And then you can go ahead and find those similarities and differences. Okay, so we know that this was all fun, but let's go on to an actual biology topic like mitosis and meiosis. So in the first column, you will have things like type of reproduction, where it occurs, crossing over, genetics of offspring, etc. And then you can just go in and fill these things on your table. Another easy one is the comparison of plant and animal cells, where we had characteristics such as cell wall shape and just other important things that you need to know for plants and animal cells. Comparison tables, just like the concept map, help you to clearly see a summary of main points that will help you understand and answer questions easily. Okay, so that was a wrap for this episode of Hashtag Study Sunday. We really hope that you enjoyed this and if you did, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below and let us know which subject you want to see next in our Study Sunday series. And if you're new to this channel or you just happen to forget to subscribe, just go ahead and click that red subscribe button underneath us. And if you look to the left, you will see our last video where we show you how to decorate your room with cute washi tape designs. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Mwah.